What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're opening 12 Champion Pack 6 Booster Packs. Yeah, this is going to be pretty fun. These are supposedly unscaled, but we will find out. We haven't had great luck with unscaled Champion Packs before, but maybe this is the time. But before that, the giveaway, we have a pretty big giveaway in today's video. We have not one, but two First Edition Ancient Guardians Booster Boxes. These are from Yu-Gi-Oh! Black Market. Normally they send me one and I open it up, but I'd already done a case opening in another video. So we're just going to do a giveaway for both of you guys. So you guys can go check out Yu-Gi-Oh! Black Market for booster boxes and stuff like that. So both Sassy Auto and them are great places to get booster boxes. You can use code RUXIN34 to get, I think, 5% off, I believe. Check that out in the description. And you guys have a chance at booster boxes. This is going to be two winners. Two winners from the comments. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you want to see out of Champion Pack 6. What do you think about the packs in general, the sets, just Champion Pack, and you can be entered. All right, so let's get into this, guys. We have 12 packs. Don't forget to enter that booster box giveaway. Remind me in a couple of days, and I'll do this one separately from normal. I'll try and announce this in like a few days, so it's not like a month like I usually do. I take a long time sometimes. But here we go. We have unscaled, supposedly, Champion Pack 6. You, the ratio is usually 1 in 12 for a super rare and 1 in 48 for an ultra so we should have a ratio for a super that doesn't mean we'll necessarily get one because loose packs are not normally you know they're not normally legit when you can scale them so these are these are scalable but we're gonna find out can we do it i don't know where the foil is so we're gonna open it up normally the first time 12 packs champion pack 6 champion pack by the way is basically a tournament pack but the second version so after tournament pack 8 they made champion pack 1 and they went all the way through 8 and then it went to turbo pack so this is a pretty old pack. Okay, the rare is right at the front. So we have a rare. Helios Duo Megustus. I was like, did I buy foreign packs for a second? I was like, what in the world? I've never seen that card. Dimension Wall and Battery Man Double A. So the rare is right at the front. And nothing we're looking for there. Actually, this rare is actually worth a little bit. So that's that's not bad. Some of the, a couple of commons, there's like a normal, a normal monster common that's actually worth something. So we'll have to look for that as well. Okay, inside the super rares we're really looking for, Phoenix Wing Windblast, I believe is the most expensive. There's also Old Vindictive Magician, some good GOAT format stuff, uh, super rare. So I don't think anything's over 100 bucks. it could be wrong, but uh, you know, there's some pretty good value, like 80 something dollars. Cold Waves, I think over a dollar, so that's pretty good. We've got a Magical Hat and Elemental Hero Stratos, that's going to be a pretty good rare. It has been printed a ton of times. But it's still a champion pack rare, so that's probably going to be worth something as Stratos. All right, next pack. I'd say the chances are pretty low for a foil based on loose packs and um, being very easy to scale. But you can always hope. There's always a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. We're going to try it out. We've never actually opened champion pack six before on the channel. Besides the one pack we opened in the every pack opening, obviously. You guys have seen that one if you haven't checked that out. We opened every single pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! through Tune Chaos, I believe. Um, so you guys can uh, see the champion pack six there. D Battery Man double A again. And a Blade Knight. This probably has some decent value. Can be used in GOAT format. That's cool. A rare. Okay. Another rare. So far we are 0 for 3. But that's okay. I think the last time we did loose champion packs, we did, what was it? Champion pack 2. No. Champion pack 3, I think. We didn't get a foil. We went 0 for 10. But the ratios are pretty rough on champion back. And then the fact that just buying... Okay, this is this is the one. This is the common. So, not common. The uh, vanilla. So, that card's worth a little bit. A couple bucks, I think. We got a Majestic Mech Oka. And another Helios Duo Magistus. I don't know. But also, like, a 2 or $3 card. So, pretty good. I also was suggested to get these by a viewer. Um, it, they are from eBay, so you're like, okay, probably not gonna be, probably not gonna be okay. The price was pretty good though. The price was pretty good on them, so I figured, you know what? Let's let's roll the dice. Let's gamble for a super rare. We probably won't get one, but it will be a fun video either way. Since I haven't opened much Champion Pack Six, I've opened a ton of Champion Pack One, Two, Three, Four. I think we opened all those. We opened five, so six is like one of the. I didn't open six, seven, or eight. I think. Okay, we have the Jinzo, the Amplifier, the Cold Wave, that's a pretty good one. And here we go. Mage Power. Okay, Mage Power is also a decent one I saw. And when I'm talking about decent, I mean like over a dollar, that's decent. I think I paid like somewhere between $12 and $15 a piece for these. So they weren't super cheap, but they also weren't crazy expensive. Um, so let's see what we can do here. 
if they're all light, it's we're definitely not gonna, you know, break even or anything. But you never know. You never know. If we do pull a foil, I'd say it'd be worth it, no matter what it is. Alright, we have a cold wave. Magical hats. And a call of darkness. Have I ever seen this card? Select any monster field of a special summon by Monster Reborn to send any okay, send to the graveyard. While this card is on the field, Monster Reborn can't be activated. An anti-Monster Reborn card. That's very weird. That is weird. I've never seen that card. A counter to Monster Reborn. Hmm. It's not just... It's not like you can't bring anything back from the graveyard. You just can't use Monster Reborn, which is very strange. Okay. That's like an anime card. Like, someone activates Monster Reborn, they're like, Call of Darkness! Send him to the graveyard! Or whatever. Okay, Sentinel of the Seas. That's another decent one. We got a Dimension Wall. What is this originally from? Is it from Enemy of Justice or something like that? I think it is. Okay. Another Blade Knight, a rare. I'm not feeling too good about getting a super. But you gotta believe. You gotta believe in the heart of the cards. Here we go. Five packs left. We've opened seven. We're going a little bit slower on these because they are champion packs. They're pretty rare packs. Also because it is gonna be like a two second video if we just fly through them. And that's not very fun. Okay, also I don't want to show you guys, just spoil it while I'm opening the pack. I want to do the pack trick for these because it's right at the front. Okay, Sentinel of the Seas again. That's like a playset at least. We've got an amplifier for the for the old Jinzo. We've got the Pharaoh Servant back there. And I, is that a third Blade Knight? <laughs> Three of the same rares. Three Blade Knights. All right, we pulled a lot of the same rares. I don't think there's too many different ones, but I feel like we've definitely not pulled all of them yet. Okay. Okay, come on. Man. It's not easy to open these like this. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Give us the Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. That'd be really cool. Um, also, the... What was it? Old Vindictive? I think I have one of those, actually, now that I think about it. Battery Man Double A. Theban Nightmare. And was he originally from? Ancient Sanctuary, I think? I'll pop it up see if I was right. Four Blade Knights out of nine packs? What in the world? <laughs> okay, that's super weird, but okay. <laughs> super weird. Four Blade Knights. On to the next pack. By the way, I can show you guys the ratios if I didn't. Wait, aren't they on here somewhere? Yeah, there we go. There are the ratios, but you don't have to move the flap because on the tournament packs, you had to go like this to show the ratios. This, they're actually just on the back where they should be. Yeah, so there's the ratios, the 1 through 12 I was talking about, the 1 out of, not 1 through, the 1 out of 12, 1 out of 48. Rares are in every pack in this one, unlike in tournament pack. Alright, here we go. Let's see, Majestic Mech Oka. Cold Wave, guys. I'm gonna make my call right now. I think this is a hollow. It is a hollow. Blaze Accelerator! It's not one of the ones you want. Okay, this is why I thought it was a hollow, because one, it was warped. That's not always a telltale sign, but the way that champion pack for, uh, hollows feel, they feel a little bit different. So I thought there might be one. So we get a Blaze Accelerator, a card I do not own. So this is actually really cool. I don't. It's definitely one of the worst ones, I think. But we got a hollow out of a random champion pack. How cool is that? By the way, I didn't want to mention it in case we didn't pull anything, but it was from Collector's Cash. So it looks like they are selling. Un they sold me unskilled stuff, so that's pretty cool. Super rares. That's awesome. Blaze Accelerator. Even that one's like a $40 card. I mean, that's that's not bad. That's not bad. So I'd say overall, definitely worth purchasing these packs because they weren't that expensive. And a viewer, one of you guys told me to buy these. You were like, hey, check out this listing. And I was like, bruh, sounds like a fun video. I'm buying them. And I bought them like right away. So that was definitely a great call. Okay, Battery Man Double A. We get a Dimension Wall. What are we going to get here? Are we going to get a Blade Knight? Are we going to get another foil? Super Electromagnetic Voltaic Dragon. I think the Dimension Wall or whatever was from Enemy of Justice because this is an Enemy of Justice card. Yeah, the Dimension Wall. I think they're both EOJ cards. The good old Voltaic Dragon. We've pulled him in Ultimate Rare a few times. And the final pack of our 12-pack opening. We pulled a foil. I'm very happy about this, to be honest. I was not expecting that to happen. All right. Here we go. Final pack. Can we, go Can we get two? That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. Here we go. Theban Nightmare. I think that's Ancient Sanctuary, I'm pretty sure. There's Pharaoh Servant, Magical Hats. 
And another one of these, actually a pretty good rare, so not a bad way to finish. And we're going to have to go over the, the recap. I might have gotten close to breaking even. I don't think I did, but I got close. All right, guys, from 12 packs, we got one, two, three cold waves, three Sentinels of the Sea. We got a Super Electromagnetic Voltaic Dragon, Mage Power, one, two, three, four Blade Knights, one, two, three, just three, Helios Duo Majestus, Majestus? One Stratos, unfortunately, and then we got a Hollow, a Blaze Accelerator, which is pretty cool. I mean, that's pretty awesome to pull that. We got a Hollow out of 12 loose packs. I can't believe that, to be honest. That's crazy. So I'll show you guys the value. Don't forget to enter the giveaway for the two Ancient Guardians booster boxes. I'll try and announce two winners in like three or four days. Those were sent by Yu-Gi-Oh! Black Market, so make sure you guys go check them out down below. You can use my code RUXON34 on anything on their site. They have all the newest stuff and like singles and stuff like that. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh. Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom!